What's up YouTube, my name's Gary M and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how you can make your own uh, espresso kit. So basically this tutorial um, should show you like the basics of espresso and how you can make your own little kits, whether it be a light kit or um, just um, something like this which I've made here. Basically this is a kit that allows you to make outlines of text and animate them. So basically all it is, is the effect you would do with a sweet nubs and like a text, but it's all in one kit. So everything is edible from this yeah, kit basically. So um, what I'm gonna do is show you how to make this and I'll probably have more tuto uh, tutorials in the future um, on how to like make light kits and stuff. Light kits are similar, um, but except you'll be working with um, obviously the options within a light and stuff and making your own kind of light models whether it be soft boxes or you know stuff like that so um, to make this what you're going to want to do is make a null object well in fact before you do that get a text um, don't get a 3D text use a 2D spline um, text there and just write whatever you want. I'm just going to write outline kit and to do this uh, sweet nub effect you just get a sweet nubs and drag it in and get a circle and put it to about 5 as your starting radius and that's what we've got so you can apply well just leave that just now. Um, once you've done that, make an object null, so a null object, drag that into the null, and we're ready to make this into a kit. So, what you want to do is, first of all, come down to your sweet knobs, and this is where you're going to be like adding all the things you want to like edit within this kit. So, let me just quickly put outline kit and then let's start adding so if you right click no it's not yeah don't right click sorry uh user data and manage user data this is where you're going to store all your data so let's close that just now and how we store data is if you come down here to where it says start growth and end growth um we can, this is what we're going to want to add in and um, I mean we could add everything here if we wanted to but uh, I know some of it's not really necessary really, I mean because we can do that with, where is it, yeah we can do that with the details as well if we want to, so yeah for this I'm just going to copy the start growth and maybe just the end growth would do, because I mean, they both do the same thing, but we we'll just add them both. So to do that, um, hold shift and select them both, right click, copy user data interface, then come up to the light, not the light kit, the outline kit, user data and paste user data interface, and then boom, they're in here. Now once you've got them in here, you want to add a new group and call this group outline kit and drag that out and then drag them two into the outline kit so you've got a separate folder um, it might be ideal to do that first but it doesn't really matter um, once you've done that come into the settings and uh, for the start growth, put the default value on zero. It should already be on zero. Change it to meter, the unit on meter. Um, and you can choose whatever one you want for this. Um, not the data type interface. You can have a float slider, a uh, slider, <laughs> a latitude, and longitude, but it would just be complicated. Or just a float, which is just digits. So I'm gonna have a float slider just to mix it up a bit. And for the end growth, make sure that's on meter as well. Put a step on one. Um, default value should be 100. Max 
Should be a hundred as well. Um, do that with the start growth as well, max one hundred. And everything's good to go here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the circle data in so we can edit the radius of our outline. So just click OK, circle, radius, copy user data interface, user data, and paste user data interface, drag it underneath. Float slider, um, oh, whoa, 100. Default value 5, and they're all good to go there. Click OK, and this is where the tricky part might be for some people. Um, Cinema 4D tags and Espresso, Azure Espresso. I think I've got a message on Skype. Spam. Uh, right, basically, what you want to do here is add, not a new node, sorry, you want to drag and drop your outline kit in. And this is like the main thing, this is your controller. Now, the way this works is blue is input, red is output. And so that should make sense. If it doesn't make sense to you, that means this is where things come in. If you like, if you wanted to control this with something else, something would come in. If you want to use this to control something, something goes out. So that's how that works. What you want to do is click on your output, object properties, um, no, sorry, outline kit, um, or whatever your um, kit's named. Add end growth, radius, and start growth. Probably be ideal to have them in that order. Um, once you've done that, add your sweet knobs and your circle. Oops. And just drag them up. Things could get really messy here, it's, you can change the size of things and clear them up if you want. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so once you've got them, just uh, click on the blue this time because this is an input. So now what we're going to do is come to, because this isn't going to have outline kit, like within the input or output, we're going to have to like locate the things that will link to these. So, for example, start growth would be in. Just gotta look at object properties. It would be in. So start growth, and for the sweet knobs, we also want the end growth in there. And I just move this down. And then that looks kind of tidy. So. For the circle, we want radius because we want to change the thickness of the circle. So, object properties and radius. And well, it doesn't really need to be that big. <laughs> so, this is easy. You just match them by dragging and dropping. So, this creates little lines. And now we can control them things from the outline kit. So, if we come to the outline kit, we can pretty much just edit everything from here so yeah, that's pretty much the basics if you want to go like well looks like we have a problem here yeah, yeah, yeah. right well, we seem to have run into an error so for me for some reason the end growth and start growth are linking so I'm going to come back into the user data just a minute this happens, just make sure everything is in like order. So what may have happened here is the unit might be wrong. Um, float meter, I want a float slider, I've done that. Uh, may want to do it in percent. Click OK. There we go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not meter, it's percent. Um, 
this percent looks a bit dodgy just because it's 0 0.01 and meter was one, just like 1 to get us here and that says 1 like it goes up in 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, but yeah just make sure it's on percent and you won't run into that problem um, so yeah now you can just edit everything from here and basically you have your basic kit so what I've done in mine is I've actually added the option to edit your text um, within this so you don't have to come down here. So to do that, come to your text, copy user data interface, well, in fact do it for the, like basically, you can do it for as many options here as you want. Um, I'm just going to do a line, font, text and horizontal spacing, copy user data interface. Outline kit, user data, paste, and then just drag these underneath. So for the text, we want this as a string interface, multi-line string, default value, nothing. So everything's good there. Font, everything's good here. Alignment, um, align, yeah, integer, cycle. You don't want to edit that, well you could, but everything's fine there. Um, horizontal spacing, I think, should that be on meter, because it automatically is. Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to leave that at zero, and leave that the way it is. Uh, so everything's good there. Come into the Expresso, drag this down now, because I have to edit it even more. So, click. Outline kit, align, font, horizontal spacing, text, and then we're going to add the text in this time. And then input, text, align, let's drag that down. Font and horizontal spacing, and then it's just the same, just um, align these up so align, gonna keep them in order. Font and then text, and then what we should have now is that, is that if we come to the editor, we can. Type some text, so Gary, there we go. Uh, alignment, middle. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. Run into more problems. Like I said, all you do is check your problems. So, oh, like I demonstrated. Uh, what was it? Align. Yeah, so I put. Name, interface, default value is, I'm going to put middle, but interface. Click OK a minute. Yeah, so I put the default in middle, if you're doing that. I uh, <coughs> don't know why that wasn't working, it should have been working. Uh, so yeah, you can add your text here, you can bump up the spacing on it. So yeah guys, that's how you can make your own little uh, kit thing. Um, if you make any decent kits, be sure to tweet them at me and, you know, uh, I don't know, like send them on Skype or something. But uh, yeah, that's just the basics. Things can get really complicated, so if you want to learn a bit more about it, you can always google it or youtube it so um, yeah that's all so leave a video a thumbs up comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye